Hello and welcome um, to my tutorial. Today we are going to talk about the um, features introduced with this release which is Winter 18 um, in Salesforce. I'm going to cover um, six most important and really useful features introduced. Um, let's get started with the list views. So on list views we have a um, couple of uh, enhancements around there. We are able to resize the list views which was um, already there before this release. Now we are able to, it was really difficult for the users to be able to see in, in a glance if you have more columns. Now we are able to wrap text which makes it really clear and you are able to see in one glance. Um, not only that, if you go away from that list and uh, come back, the system remembers it and keeps it as it was. And um, let's say you want to reset it to system settings. You can say reset column width and it gets reset by default, which is really cool. Another feature is the, let's go to one list view, my contacts. You're able to clone or rename your list views right from this little um, gear icon from here. So you are either able to clone, let's say there is a list view your users really liked and they want to add their own um, enhancements to that, they can create it and save it and then edit it. So it is really useful for your users. You can rename, share it from here, edit the list fil filters and so on. So that's um, around list views. Another one is you can mass edit your records directly from here. So if I want to select all the records, update all the phone numbers to something, which is not a very ideal case scenario, but if you are want to update all the 39 selected items, you can update it and apply it. And that change will be updated to all the columns. Another thing to notice is sometimes you might not notice this um, ability here for your uh, purposes. So let's see if I go to an account, right? So by default, my account has record types on it. So if there are record types on your object, you will not see your uh, mass editing cap capability directly. What you need to do is create a list view and filter that list view on record types. So I already have created one. So let's see I go to one list view and there I have filtered this list view on record type hospital or medical office and which is why I'm able to see the mass editing feature. So if you want to see this you will need to make sure that your list view is filtered on certain record types. All right, moving on. Next one is uh, send list email capability. So now your users are able to send. It will be um, very helpful for your users to reach out to all the leads at once, send emails to everybody at once, all the contacts. So it's mostly available on contacts, person accounts, and um, lead you'll be seeing this send list email and they do require send list email and mass email permission on your users to be able to use this feature. Okay, so send list email, I'm going to select, this is my email, so I'm going to select that, send list email. Now, a couple of things to note here. You are not able to send an attachment using this because Lightning uh, only lets you send files. You can attach a file. So I'm going to attach a file. And even though you can send an attachment directly, you are able to select a Salesforce Classic template and or Lightning template. So if you click on template, you are going to see all this. Um, you can see all Lightning templates, your Lightning template or Classic template. So if I select Classic template, able to do that right so that's a classic template um, 
but I'm not going to create insert a classic template. I'll just have a lightning template insert and that's your lightning template. And then attach a file because it overrides it and then send. All right, so that's very easy for users to follow up emails at once to all the users on the list view. Now, how do we see that? That leads to our next enhancement, which is activities. The list email, which is um, sent, is available under the activity. All right, so, and you're also able to filter it out. So if you click on this little filter here on activity, you're able to filter it under list view and apply and it's going to show up only your uh, list emails right now I don't have any other if you select emails since I don't have any I don't see any but you get the idea so and then you can refresh it let me say all activities all right um, another feature is a little drop down here before, uh, we are not able to see activities the past two years, but now, with, this, with the help of this little uh, icon here, show more activity, is going to open a new tab and going to show all the activities on that page. So it gives you a quick view of all the activities at, a, at one page. That's around activity. My next one is about notes and files. So notes and files are very much similar enhancement around that. Before, um, the problem was if anybody attaches a note um, to a record, anybody having a, with access to that record was able to see that notes. Even there might be sensitive data which you might not want everybody to see even though they have access to the record. They don't necessarily need access to the notes which you wrote in your meetings, right? So now Salesforce lets you do that. So I'm going to create a new note. Test. Test. And where it is add to records, that's where you just say prevent note from being viewed by other users, right? So that means other users are not going to be able to see that even though they have access to that. Just going to put some name here, add. So only those users whom you add here are able to see the notes and the notes is private. So that's really cool. And the same thing with um, attachments. So once you attach the file, by default, um, it is visible by anybody who has access to this record is able to see that file. Now what you need to do is an extra step where you need to go to your object manager, find the content version object, in that content version object we are going to go to page layouts. There, there is a field called file privacy and records. By default, it is not added. You need to add it and save it. So, and then when you go to your files, go to the record, I'm sorry, go to the content. Actually, let's not do that. Click on this little arrow here and edit file details so you can either make it visible to anyone with record access or private on records by default it is the first one only the owner of the record or the system admin is able to change this so that way users your users can now add um, private records and notes private records and sorry private files and notes to the record, even though the record might be readable or accessed by other users, which is a really cool feature. The last one is lead conversion. We had a lot of difficulty before 
with lead conversion because it was very limited. We're not able to select account um, opportunity and contact from the lead page. It would just create by default an, um, a contact and opportunity. But now you're actually able to select if you want to create a new one or you want to choose an existing one for contact opportunity and account. So you have two options. And um, it also shows you, since I already have um, Art Corp, it shows you that one account matches, you sure you want to create a new one or just choose existing one. So if you can just choose existing one, it's just going to show up right there. You have more information and it is very intuitive and very useful. And this is all out of the box. I haven't customized anything yet. So that's all out of the box. I think that completes um, all the features which I wanted to discuss today. I do have uh, more information on my blog. Please visit um, trail.withmeha.com and I do have a blog on uh, the new lightning components introduced along with the home components and uh, really cool features. Please visit and let me know if you have questions or comments or if I missed anything which you want to add up to. Please um, leave below the comments. Thank you so much for watching.